What's up guys, today we're covering this annoying FAA question. The VOR is tuned to Bonham Vortac and the aircraft is positioned over the town of Sulphur Springs. Which VOR indication is correct? Let's take a look at the chart and see what we can figure out. So we have the Bonham VOR or the Bonham Vortac selected 114.6 and we are told we're over Sulphur Springs. Just looking at the problem, if we wanted to fly to or from the, the Bonham VOR or the Bonham Vortec, we can select either a 120 or 300. If we wanted to fly directly away from it, uh, we find the center and we find the radial that would point to us. So 120 uh, would take us directly away from the, from the VOR or the Vortec. If we wanted to fly directly to it, we would probably add 120 plus 180 degrees, and that would get us what, uh, 300? Zero, zero. So just thinking about the problem alone, we could probably guess what VOR uh, would be correct. Uh, either a 120 from or a 3002 indication on the VOR. Let's take a look at our options. There it is. So number one, seven, or eight. So number one gives us an indication of 210 with a right course deflection. Number seven gives us 030 and a left course deflection and no to or from indication. Uh, and then number eight gives us 0302. Right off the bat, we can probably eliminate number eight. Let's go back to the chart and see what 030 would look like. So 0302, let's find the 030 radial. That's 09. So 030 would be somewhere over here, right? Uh, but that's the radial, and radials always point away from the station. So we, if we wanted to fly 030 from, we'd be going in this direction. 0302 tells us that we want to fly a heading of 030 to get to the VOR. So that's going to put us somewhere over here. So we're supposed to be over Sulphur Springs. We're definitely not over here off the chart. So that we can rule out that uh, answer right off the bat. Let's hop into the sim and see what our VOR should look like. All right, first thing we do, dial in 114.6 for the VOR. Let's tune our VOR indicator until it centers the needle. And look at that, 3002. Cool. So right now, we are heading generally south, according to our heading indicator. So we need to make a right turn and to get onto the zero, uh, correction, the 300 uh, course to go back to the VOR. Now let's dial in 120, and it gives us a from indication. So we, if we were to fly 120 from our present location, we would fly directly away from the VOR. Now let's think about number one. It looks like we have a 2102 indication. Let's go back to our chart. We have a 210 from indication. Here we have the 210 radial. Remember, radials point away from the station. So if we had 210 from, we would be you know, doing something like this. But it says 2102. So we would be on the opposite side, again, off the chart, heading to the bottom vortex. Ruling out numbers 1 and 8, we're left with number 7, which has a 030 course selected, but it doesn't give us a to or from. Let's go to the simulator and see what this looks like. So it looks like this VOR instrument either gives you a to or from. It doesn't give you a no indication like the, uh, the FA question does. But you see, if we tune to 030, the CDI needle is completely deflected. So we know we're not on that radial. So in this case, numbers one and eight are clearly wrong. I would go with number seven. If I were to encounter this question on an exam, I would try to reason my way out of at least two of the answers and go with the one that remains. I hope this helps answer the question. If you have any other questions, I would love to see them down in the comments. And if you want more free private pilot discussions, hit that subscribe button to fly my way. Thanks for watching. See ya.